up, ladies and gents? 43 of Select NBA. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's get in this here. Seven times, seven times. I didn't get the team. Let me do that real quick. Seven times. Some loaded teams in this one. Should I start getting the heck yours? Dude, I've considered the same thing. I've gotten. Blood. I've never even gotten my, my toes done before. Like, honestly, I used to walk around barefoot everywhere. Like, I still walk around in sandals or slides and flip-flops all the time. So if I was to get a pedicure, they'd probably be scrubbing my feet for Well, then I guess the next question is this. What color are you going to paint your toenail? No, no, just a regular <laughs> regular color. Toenail. I see you in a light lavender. What does that mean? It'll go with your eyes. What? <laughs> Grizzlies down to the Lakers. <laughs> It's like, what is that mean? <laughs> Seven. Here we go, guys. One. Don't laugh, insane. That wasn't funny. You're trying to tell me to paint my toenails. No. Five, no. six, and seven. F W A H down to Cat T. On seven and seven. Thank you guys for the fill. Get him, Greg. Hey, he, go. he put the three G's. Yeah, go ahead and pick two boxes out of there. You don't pick a good box, they might yell at you. This is what it's going to be. My legacy ends and begins here. Yep. You're going you're gonna to pick one bad two boxer, and everyone goes from loving you to hating you that quick. And they'll want me back. So you just choose carefully. Golden State. Cat T with the Lakers. Okay, Kit Kat. Rod with the T-Wolves. Hornets went to Gary. Okay, okay. Okay, well. Yep. Good to go. All right, I'm about to line the next one. Twenty twenty one select NBA. Everyone gets four random numbers per for the teams in purple only. Twenty five spots. I'll go fifty nine bucks. Twenty five spots. Fifty nine dollars. at 59. All right, go for it. Better be careful throwing those, Greg. I know, right? White cards. So I'll give you up that one you would top load. You know, just try to be a little more careful when you place them down. Gotcha. Four down. 21 left. The Steelers just lost a corner for the rest of the season, DJ. What? What? Wait, 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 what? Oh, wait, you're a Steelers fan, too. Read it to me, slowly, with a very calm voice. Damar Asi, unfortunately tore my ACL today. It hurts this happens days before my pro debut, but there's no quit in me. And then it says the Steelers corner is out for the season. Dunzo, Shablam. Dunzo? Gone. He is as good as useless. 
All right, we're almost full. Jarrett Couvert, number 10 of 175. Ooh, you're looking yam that. Yeah. Three left, three left. We're full, Raider Farmer fills it. Thanks, Raider, how you doing today, brother? Raider Farmer! All right, let's show Greg. Well, Nate. Yeah, look Nate. at his beautiful face. Beautiful. You know, like, I just remember the bar that I went to at the beach when I was on vacation. We need one of those here. And what does this special bar do? They serve good drinks. They got good pulled pork and a view of the ocean. <laughs> 92 of 1, 249 of 249. Can't drink none. Their pours are heavy. Is it South Carolina, you said? North Carolina. North Carolina. Beach. In Morale. I actually... I liked it, but the party scene was low key ass. I'm not gonna lie. Like I went, I went to the club one night, and it was not all that. Wasn't hitting, huh? So so awesome. What's a wild party in your eyes? A wild party? Yeah, what, what is, what, what, what's got to happen? Someone got to get shot? No. Someone got to get laid? Do you have no. to get laid? No. Okay. A wild party is like a, a block party. Okay. Where you got like 200 people or more. It's just insane. And shit is just crazy. All right, I'll pick up what's laying down. Like to me, that's wild. Like 20 to 30 people is like a kickback. But like... Yeah. 50 plus, that's, oh, that's a party. Music. That's a party. That's a good look. But a table has to be broken. <laughs> like over somebody? or you No, just no, no. Someone off? gets on a balcony or something and they break that table. Backyard wrestling. Uh, yes. Break the table. Alright. Okay. And there has to be funnels. You can't not have funnels. You gotta have funnels. Darius Garland. And there better be an endless supply of Coors Light. Mm -hmm. Like, if, if you run out of beer, it's a wrap. Well, like, that's true. That would, you that can't that run out of party. beer. That ends a party. That would definitely end a party. I've been to some crazy-ass college parties, but I feel like I could throw a better party than even the college parties. Xavier Tillman. Just some people are too childish at college parties. They start snorting coke and taking body shots, popping Xanaxes and shit. So like, yeah, that's, that's a little too a little too much. Too much for me. Yeah, I mean you gotta at least wait till four AM if we're gonna That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna fan out a little only, bit. Only, See time, the... only time you take a line is if it's four or five AM and you gotta work at six and got an hour drive. Yeah, I guess it. Tyrese Halliburton select future rookie card. I haven't seen one of these yet. Oh, those are the interesting inserts. I think a lot of people like to see the pile. Yeah, so try to keep the pile on this screen right here. This pile? Yeah. How about it? Is it not? Yeah, did you? They say I'm missing. Yeah, where's two? I'll look right now, chat. I'll yeah. look right now. Check it, check it. I was just trying to go faster. So don't do this rookie card since it's silver? Uh, yeah, do yeah. that one, yeah, since it's silver. Sneaky and bay. silver rookie. And this silver one. Yeah, you ride. My bad, bro. Got a Vassal 43 of 99. Team Mom. Spurred. Let's put on some Team Mom. Is that like a thing? It's a TV show. Team Mom 2. I gotta teach you how to watch TV. Really? I think so. I don't really watch that much TV. You could do better. So is there like lit clubs downtown Winston? No. 
Lit really? clubs? Like a, lit a club. No. Like, I know they got, like, a hookah lounge, but, like, I don't want to go to no hookah lounge. Oh, like, yeah. I'm not smoking tobacco, so. I wouldn't say it's a lit club, like, where people would get down and dance, but, I mean, like, just just go to 4th Street. That's all you got to do. The whole street. From that all the way through, like, Burke. You can walk. There's a golf cart you can take. Charlotte is crazy. I Charlotte's love Charlotte. Bananas. Charlotte's absolutely bananas. But, like, it's very easy to spend an ass load of money a night out in Charlotte. Of course it is. They just, it's fun. Yeah. Oh, I see another Tyrese. Nah, Kevin, I ain't, listen, bro. I may poke it up every now and again, but I am not snorting no lines, bro. It's the devil. I'm no, nah, like, I ain't about to sit here and critique people that do, cause that's what they do. I'm not gonna judge anyone. You do it, you do it, bro. It's cool. But like it just ain't for me. This is slip. Okay. Oh yeah, that's the court side right there. At nationals, we'll have a good party though. There better be some strippers. We gotta hire some strippers for our for our platinum VIP party. Just give me thirty minutes in the strip club. Well, they'll come. That's all I need. Really? I do well. We have to pay them, though, right? Uh, slightly. Uh, how about this? We just tell them the, the tips they get they can keep, right? True. Go hit this one. Tobias. Yeah, that should be like numbered that. on the back. Tobias Harris, 57 to 75. Like, maybe we could do what they did in Jersey Shore, and they just bring a party bus full of strippers. So, like, then it doesn't make everyone uncomfortable inside, and we still got the strippers. That is true. The only you know what thing. I mean? Because there's people that are married and shit. Need, that need a pole. Oh, for, that's what I'm saying. We get a party bus with poles in it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how you do it. That would be nuts. That would be nuts. And you can't drink Coors Light. Cole Strip Anthony. It's got, it's got to be booze. Yeah, because it's already expensive. Oh, yeah. So it's got to be some like... I'll pay $12 a beer when you get $12 a shot. Yeah. So it's got to be, I don't know, some bougie shit because we're going all well, out. I'll tell you what, I feel like I'm about to snort up a gnat. <laughs> yeah, me too. No Hennessy, though. I'm not drinking no Henny. You, you never know? had Hennessy with oh, the hypnotic? Had... Dude, that's what, what's that called? A Hulk or a green something? Hulk. G told me to get one, but I've never They're got straight. one. They're, They're good? They're straight. I don't know. Bro. Tyrese just, Halliburton, rookie. The regular Hennessy is expensive. Quartz side. And... Like it's it's not cheap for no, a little itty cheap. bitty ass bottle, and I didn't really like it. But no, Red Hawks are straight. I'm gonna have to get one, and they're less expensive, obviously, if you go to like store maker. You can get hypnotic at the. You can get anything at a liquor store. Hypnotic. What does it look like? Hypnotic. Blue. It's like looks like. So what do you do? Them. Pour half and half? You can. But like, what's the standard pour? Uh, hold up. 68 of 249. Kelly, who? Obey? Obrey? Junior? Ubre. 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 Nah, I mean, you know, put you like two shots of, put you like two shots of each, really, and then just load it up with ice. So go. four shots and one drink? Yeah. Alright. So if you're going to be a monkey, be a motherfucking gorilla. Dude, I can get down with that. That'll get you lit. Three bumps. Screwball Lamello peanut ball butter ball whiskey at the very, very peanut end. butter whiskey. What the? F Have you had that? Nah, man. And if I'm gonna, uh, I mean, I'll do like a chocolate, my maybe like a. Well, you do chase beer. it with jelly. You got jelly on the sides and like raspberry jelly, some shit insane. Dude, the dude. See, I like Mountain Dew, but I heard that that makes your sperm count go down, so I stopped drinking it. I've never heard that. Really? I've never heard that. There's enough humans. We're good, Austin. We don't need any more Austins. <laughs> Facts. I don't even know if I want an Austin. Little Austin. Yeah, just try to keep this on the screen a little bit. There you go. See, I'm bigger. I need bigger cameras. I'm oh, at the new place, it's going to be way, way better. And not. It's not going to be so As smushed. Conformed. Yeah. 
Like literally, this table, this table right here is gonna be double because G had me do the measurements. Oh, that's what's up. Double. Let's see. We got an eighty-seven or two forty-nine auto Aleski. What did you say, Pozuszewski? Pokashevsky. Pokashevsky. Low sperm count is a good thing. How is that in any way good? If you want kids, I mean, you only need one of them to work. Out of the billions that you know. Yeah. Well, I guess you're right. Yeah. I don't know. It just scared me. I didn't want my like balls to shrivel up like prunes and shit. You're not gonna castrate yourself. With Mountain Dew, who knows? Let's go. There we go with the Lamella Ball rookie. Oh, that's a good one. That's a scope. That's what you get, John Lester. That's what you get. That's what you get, John Lester. Yeah, you got five cat. Raider Farmer filled it up. I threw the last of the select baskets that we have in stock until the H2 tomorrow. So those will all go tonight. Montreal Herald. So if I sit down and ask for, what is it called? A Green Hulk? Incredible Hulk. Incredible Hulk. They'll know what I'm talking about? Yeah, absolutely. If what they, if they don't? If there's any bartender out there worth their salt. Tyrese Halliburton, rookie. Normally, I'm Lamello just like so basic when I go pack. to a bar, bro. Like, I'm always so basic. It's man, either Captain and Coke or... Man, go ahead and branch out. Ask him, man. I tell you what, there's a book out there called The Playboy's Guide to Bartending. You're welcome. You, you read it? I used to be a bartender. I had to. Okay. I guess I could turn out like 17 drinks in three minutes. Is that true? All mixed. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Cause you gotta get the recipes right, or they just flat out taste like shit. Oh, I don't want a bad drink. I'll send it back. I'm not scared to send a bad yeah. drink back. I mean, especially if I'm gonna charge so many to 10, 12, 15 dollars. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, if I'm paying eight to ten dollars for a Captain and Coke, and my shit is weak, I get mad. Like, oh, yeah, I, why would I pay ten dollars for a drink, and like it would take twenty of these to get me drunk? I'm with you on that. Lester's getting smashed. That's what you get, John. That's what you get. He's mad. Look at him. He's like, yeah, I I'm getting tossed out. This Have you ever been kicked out of a sporting event? Not a sporting event. Like out of a game? Not out of a game. I don't know. I've always wanted to do it, but I, I don't know. Pozhyshevsky. I like yelling at umpires, man. I can't help well, it. I think that's like a given. You can yell at an umpire. It's so easy. They're just perfect targets. Scout from 1 to 10, how fire has this break been? Not too, too fire. That's why you get a Oop. table and buy bottles. Josh Green, rookie silver. One box, one box set. Now you get a table and buy bottles, you lit. But you can't have bottles in North Carolina. Why not? Unless it's champagne. Why not? It's, you can't have a bottle of liquor sitting at your table. It has to be served. It just So you can't say you've been over-served because it's the bartender. Rookie James Wiseman. So you can't be overserved. You know, it's it's a bartender's like it's a law for so a bartender. So you go to, to a help. you go to a club, they can't give you bottle service unless it's champagne. Yeah, I mean, if you go to a club, maybe they'll have their own rules because it is what it is. But more than likely, you can't go to no bar and get a bottle of liquor. Be like, yeah, just give me a bottle. 
But they sell, they'll sell you bottles of wine. Bottles of wine are different. The alcohol content is different. Yeah. Fuego, Donovan Mitchell. Two, three bottles of wine, eh? Yeah, but you got to think, you can get down two or three bottles of wine, you ain't getting down two or three bottles of liquor. Oh, no, 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 no. You might be able to get one bottle of liquor down. Not two of them, though. Aaron Naismith? You see what B. Rice said? Oh, I didn't see it. He says, every time you come to my games, you're yelling at the umpires. I just have to, man. Like, it's just, it has to be done, you know what I it mean? It has to be done. Someone's got to do it, why not me, you know? And if you're good at it. Some people are naturals. I'm just, I'm good at, I'm very good at telling, like, when is the point that I'm about to get kicked out, and then I stop. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, you, you, I'm, you're right yeah, there. I know where the line is. And very, I've never crossed the line to get kicked out. See, no, no. Where do you get these? Oh, peach teas? I don't know if I could do peach, man. Yeah, you can. Uh, I'm going to try them. But this Nothing may this may end bad. I don't bad experience with peach flavor, my man. Recap. Tear, tell the fair or foul story. Yo, that's uh, no. Wait, what? Is there something I need to know? So, Bryson hits a ball. D a deep flop. I swore it went over the fence, but apparently it didn't go over the fence. But I know for a fact that that ball was fair. The home plate umpire is umping like he's looking dead down the line, right? Literally on the foul line, staring right at it. Okay. He calls the ball fair. And then the, the infield umpire calls time after Bryson gets to second and calls it a foul ball. What? Yeah. So I went. I, I kind of went nuts, bro. I was I was screaming pretty good at that one. Ooh, Apple. I'm, I'm game for some Apple. But yeah, I let that umpire have it, man. <laughs> I was sitting like way far away from home plate, too. I mean, are we talking like just pages and pages of like just blaspheming or is it just a good quick jab of venom? I mean, are you just giving it to them hard? Is it just like, oh, you fucking suck, or are you blind? I'm you not just, cursing. Let me tell you what. I mean, are you just going hard? Are you going hard in the paint, Austin? I mean, like, that time? That time? Y yeah, but I didn't curse okay. because there was kids there. Oh. Like, young kids. So I was like, right, let, let me chill. I ain't about to So curse. you just called him bum. I told him that if he had a fistful of dimes in a phone booth, he still couldn't make a call. Nice. Okay. I'm sure those young kids were like, what's a phone booth? <laughs> <laughs> Why does he have a fistful of dimes? <laughs> yeah, what is he going to do with those? <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for the fill, everyone.